Thank you, Adam, uh, and thank you all of friends, old and new, who have come to join me here in Bangor. We stopped at Spruce Run, which is doing such important work for victims of domestic violence. We stopped at the Senior Center, which has made Bangor a bright spot for seniors to move and to live and to thrive. Uh, we stopped at Frank's Bakery for some donuts. <laughs> so I started this walk just over a week ago. We kicked it off with a party in Fort Kent and began in Holton. And it's the walk across Maine for jobs and the economy. Many people across the state are struggling right now. They feel like Washington Republicans have lost touch with the priorities of our local communities. And folks in Island Falls took me in a tour around the town and they showed me where National Starch and Chemical used to be, a plant that moved overseas to Guatemala about five years ago and they said, a couple hundred jobs have been lost in that community and they haven't come back. And sure enough, I was walking down the road from Island Falls and there was a man in his front yard with his wife and his kids. And I talked to him and he said he was one of those workers who lost his job. And he hasn't been able to find full-time employment since. He's cobbling together a living with part-time jobs, trying to make ends meet. We need to focus on our local economies. We need to focus on the economy of the future and what we do to bring jobs to the rural areas as well as the urban centers. There is no reason why we should not have universal cell phone access statewide. There is no reason why we should not have universal broadband high-speed internet. We need to invest in infrastructure, in roads, in bridges to put people work back to work now and also to grow our tourism economy. And finally, we need to invest in renewable energy. Energy costs are high. And we have such an opportunity to be a world leader in renewables. It's not easy to walk 350 miles from Holton to Kittery, but anything worth doing takes effort and hard work and tenacity. And I'm here to ask for your vote in November. Thank you.